Hello there, Radiant Souls. Great to connect with you for another reading. Now we're going to be looking at your immediate future. Kind of a quick alignment tune in to see what's coming up for you and see what's activating in your life. There's a lot of activation energy right now that's happening. Uh, so I really want to align with that and um, get your soul messages to help guide you and uh, give you a bit of a heads up as well. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Michelle. It's great to connect. All right, so if you are new, um, I tune in Soul Stories. Um, I am going to align a bit to the Akashic plane for this also uh, to see what's coming up for you on a soul level. And I will do a short attunement and alignment meditation. Um, you're more than welcome to join me for that. It'd be great. If not, that's cool too. You can jump ahead to the timestamps, which are in the description box, with ways as well to reach me. And um, if you want to know a little bit more about my um, approach and focus. All right, Soul Light, let's do this. This is Soul Story number one. And the stone you have is Zoistite. Soul Story number two is Malachite. Soul story number three is Lapis Lazuli. And soul story number four is Turquoise. Now, I always say trust your intuition. Um, these are general readings, as you know, so some things will apply, some things won't. You know your soul story. You know what you're living and going through. You know what you're learning. You know what your focus is. You know what you're manifesting, which, by the way, manifest simply comes from the French word to make visible, manifest, okay? So um, I had somebody leave a comment about there is no manifestation. Yes, we're manifesting all the time. It just means to make something visible, literally visible or physical. Um, so if I have a picture in my mind that I want to paint or draw, when I draw it or paint it, I just manifested something, right? And we're always manifesting, whether on an ego level, a wounded level, you know, very high vibrational level from the higher self, con you know, soul level, connecting in from the soul. It's we're always creating something, putting something out in the world. Even when we get up in the morning, we're manifesting something, right? As soon as we set an intention, we put on our clothes, we're manifesting. Manifestation is also a form of self-expression. So anyway, uh, got off on a little rant there. All right, soul story number one, soul story number two, soul story number three, soul story number four. The words may or may not apply. Connect with your own intuition, that awesome intuition that each and every one of you has. Trust that if you're guided here, you're guided here for a particular message or messages. Whatever it is, trust your own inner knowing and inner guidance. Only you know you the best. I'm tuning into what you're broadcasting what the frequency is of what you are transmitting. All right, again, soul story number one, number two, number three, number four. Timestamps are in the description box below. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the individual soul story readings. All right, soul light, let's connect in. And just attuning into the higher vibrational frequency that is you which connects into all expressions and aspects of you. Taking a conscious deep breath in, connecting in with healing light source energies, aligning to God consciousness, breathing out and recognizing and realizing that that God consciousness is you. Taking a deep breath in, a little bit deeper perhaps. Centering within as you breathe out, connecting into that sacred space in between your in-breath and out-breath and centering there. In your own pace and pattern, breathe in, up past the crown chakra into that natural pause point as you expand into the vibrational frequency of your higher self. Pause into that space and connection of your higher self and as you breathe out, Become aware that that connection is through you, all through you, body, mind, spirit, and within you. Breathing in to the frequency of the higher self. Connect into that power and empowerment that is you. 
trusting that the messages you receive are in divine right order for you. Whatever your belief or practice, connecting in to what most supports you and is most life enhancing for you. Trusting that you're being guided to the right messages that are most life enhancing and soul supportive for you. When you're ready, if you haven't already, choose the card, cards or crystals at most connect with you. Hello, soul light, if you chose. Soul story number one, Zoe Stight. Wow, purpose. A lot of healing taking place and a lot of growth um, in your life at this time. So in the immediate future, um, there's something that you're, I don't know if I want to say cutting out, but you're prioritizing. There's some kind of new prioritization that's coming in for you. And I do feel that it is at a soul level by what I'm being shown that there are messages. A lot of you have been getting intuitive messages, hits about something. You're really starting to live, I feel, more soul aligned. And some of you have been, but there's a deepening in this. Um, I'm also getting that I feel that yeah, even though the stone is green, a dark green, there could be something with food changes um, aligning with you, Different, some, some different food that you're drawn to. It could be literally green, green vegetables, super green smoothies. It could be something like that. All I know that is I am seeing changes. I'm also seeing changes in your scheduling. Um, Zoe said also assists in manifesting your own self rather than being influenced by others and not conforming. Um, also, if you've been feeling a bit lethargic or exhausted, that energy is coming up as well as a focusing and I don't feel it's in a really overly you know for lack of a better word manic way I feel like there's a level of balance that's coming in for you okay so activate see so there's the zoistite let's put these out here I've got solar flares well, there that is, activation. Wow, I just felt the energy pick up. Wow. Okay, transits. So you have an activation cycle coming in. So there must have been a lot of clearing or cleansing or purifying or letting go. Or you could have been very inward. You're moving into a time of activation. Okay, let's get the cards out. We've got invitation, activation, invitation. And then we're coming from structure. A lot of you, there could be Saturn, and then do we have Saturn? Yeah, Saturn learning lessons, or something that's been requiring a lot of time and focus, mostly time. Some of you have had to budget your time, prioritize your time, uh, budget even financially. And then we have hearth. That's what I thought. You've been inward, and then introspection. Yeah. I didn't look at these cards, of course. I just tune in and put them there, introspection. So you've been kind of either at home a lot or inward a lot and there's a journey and under the activation and action. So I am getting um, act and the invitation from the universe is to begin to activate. So it's time for you to get out of the, um, I just heard of the cave. <laughs> it's time for you to get out more. It's time for you to do more. Um, whether it's projects, plans, being with others, just getting outside, outdoors more. Some of you, this could also have to do with weather because I'm getting climate here, transit. Just as I said that, I was guided to look here. So a lot of going within, a lot of focusing, maybe reviewing something, um, renegotiating your time. I'm getting a lot to do with prioritizing. I'm getting a lot too that a lot of you may have felt that you were held back for some reason, whether you held yourself back, like I'm not ready to do this, I'm not ready to get out there, or this isn't ready to happen, or I just don't have the money for that. I just don't have the time for that. I'm just not up for that. So you are moving in a time of activation and action. And this activation is leading you to a new level 
um, in your life, obviously. There's something that is coming in that is up-leveling somehow. We're going to get more clarity on that. What is up-leveling for soul story number one? In the immediate future, it's activation. It's getting out there. It's action. Being act Taking action. Being action orientated. So if you've been thinking a lot, contemplating a lot, mulling things over, it's time to take action. That's the biggest thing I could say in the immediate future. Some of you, that trip you've been wanting to do, you take action and you plan it. Some of you are actually going on a little trip. Um, I'm not seeing a large trip yet. Okay. Just follow who you need to be right. I don't know if that is actually for you, but we'll put that there. I'm actually going to put that. Some of you had to kind of get rid of the notion that you knew what to do. I feel like you came into like an impasse in your life. Like, I'm not sure that I know what to do. I'm not sure what's come. This wanted to come out. Yeah, see, so you might be trapped, feeling trapped in your um, circumstances financially. I think I said that earlier about money or not having the money to do something. But there's some action that you're taking. Now, is this a loan? Is this second income coming in? Is this another revenue stream? Is this getting that better job or position? Is it asking for the raise? It's different for different ones of you. Um, some of you, it's maybe doing something else on the side or starting to build your own business. Some of you, I'm hearing also real estate, something with house or design or working from home. So whatever this introspection has done, you now know what you need to do, and I feel that you have the fortitude, is what I'm hearing. You have the fortitude uh, to move past any limitations. In other words, it's like you've been in the ring, and it's like, okay, I can go one more round. That's one more round. This is cyclical, one more round. And so you've funded enough strength for you to be able to move forward or take action on your ideas, on what you need to do. So there's going to be a lot of clearing up. Oh, see, you are worthy. And I just heard, don't worry. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. So whatever you've been worried about is going to be okay. The worries are, you're getting the solution. That's what's happening in the immediate future. You're getting the solution to the situation, to the problem. Again, prioritize, budget, whatever that is, time, energy, money, focus, where you're, it's a time to economize, it's a time to budget, it's a time to put the attention and energy on um, what you actually really need to do by what you have realized by your own introspection. Okay. Now, I do feel like there is going to be a, some openings, some opportunities that are coming to, to you, uh, whether work-wise or to join with others. The action is also get that body moving, get moving. Yes, yeah, so you're coming out of that five of cups. It's not been easy. I get it. Two of wands. I feel you got to a place where it's like, okay, I can't do anything or I don't know what to do. You, you tried to take action in the past. It didn't work or didn't line up like you wanted to, so you pulled back. And, you know, it's, it's, to me what I'm getting from this reading is that saying when fishermen can't go fishing, they mend nets. And I always add this to it. When fishermen can't go fishing, they mend nets. When the met, nets are mended, everything's done, go have a chai tea. Chai tea. <laughs> Go have a chai latte. Go have a cappuccino, right? Do something else. Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's time for you to get out. And then there's a star. So the healing, hope coming back, renewal. You are moving forward. You're moving out of that slump. That's the biggie that's coming for you. You're moving out of the slump. Whatever that slump has been, you are moving out of it. I'm going to move the cards here. So all of that introspection, contemplation, some of you have been journaling. Some of you have worked for some, with someone to help you get clarity. You're going to get the clarity. That's coming up, and you're going to take action. You're going to start... Some of you, you're going to start mending those nets. 
you're making a better foundation for what you want to do. Some of you, it's school, it's study, it's training in something, and look at it's bringing that finance. So I feel like a lot of you have the plan. You've put, now it's to put the plan in motion. You've thought out the plan. You get, you're like, oh my God, it's going to take a lot to do this, but okay, this is what I got to do. You're mentally prepared now, and that's Zoistite helps with mental preparation and physical if you've been feeling exhausted. So Aquarius energy, there could be an Aquarius helping you, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, but look where you're going. So there is a completion over this didn't work, that didn't work. I thought this person was going to help me. I thought this was going to happen. I thought I was going to get that job. You are moving very directly. Now you're moving from the mental realm. You still are planning. There's a lot of planning going on with this group. Um, so, But you're, you need to start taking the action to what you're planning. All right, let's get a rune card. Wow, I love this reading because it shows the progression of where you're going, that you are progressing. You're moving forward on your soul path journey. Yeah, there it is. You've got the strength and determination for whatever it is you're focused on. That's the shift. Strength and determination. So from that strength and determination, you have success in what you want to do. Okay, this card is coming out twice which is surrender, it's the waning moon. In other words, you've done what you can, now you need to take action. You planned it out, you said, I'm gonna do this, or we need to do this, or you know, you've know, you written it out, you've planned it out, and look at this, you're setting yourself up for a breakthrough. Dagaz, awakening, breakthrough. This is change that gets better over time. So I do see in your immediate future, this isn't like, oh my God, all of a sudden, you know, I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars or I'm a millionaire, I'm a billionaire. But it is that you're on the right track, you're on the right path. Now you just need to do the work and trust your intuition. So that letting go that you did, that surrender and like, okay, I'm doing what I can. It's not totally doing working like I want it to, but it is, it is what it is. <laughs> Let me think about it. Let me contemplate. Let me, you know, try this, try that. The surrendering that you've done, the consistent effort has brought you into a place of strength, determination is up, and you're creating your own breakthrough. And those of you that are looking for work, there is a job, there is a new position coming in, there's more customers, more clients. If you are looking for work, you do get that work. And look at this, money tree. So that is your focus in your immediate future. All right. Activate, activate, follow through, take action. All right, your soul insights mantra, radiant soul light is, I am aligned to my individual flow, trusting my inner guidance. This inner guidance gets me to where I need and want to go and helps me create what I want to create. That's it. We're meant to be these creator beings. We're not here just a human being. A lot of people say, oh, we do too much. No, we're here to do. We're here to create. We're here to explore. We're here to share. We're here to love. We're, we are here to express and experience ourselves as a soul. And I wish you so much love, light, wisdom, and soul expression. Till next time, shine bright. Hello, Radiant Soul. Great to connect with you. Wow. If you chose Soul Story number two, this is your reading. Lots of energy happening. I don't know what you're doing in your life, but with Malachite there and Pluto for rebirth, you have big changes happening, deep, far-reaching changes. I'm talking about eighth house. If you're into astrology, eighth house changing, activation, deep changes, financial changes. Something is renewing, rebirthing. You're getting your groove back. You have ended a cycle of stagnation or confusion or things being slow. Do you hear how I'm, my, even my voice, I'm, I'm, you know, my energy is picking up. I'm talking faster. This is what I feel. I feel like this is going to be your life. All of this movement. Okay, spiral, the spiral. But you're centered inside. You're focused. You're determined. You know what you want. A lot of you have been doing deep healing work or getting clear on something. You're transforming a, at least two parts of your life. Some of you, three parts. You're just diving in. You're going, this is it, rebirth. This is like, 
bat medicine, you know, and animal medicine. Um, bat is rebirth, renewal. Okay, this isn't just a death card. This is a birth, a rebirth. This is like some complete transformation. Now, with Malachite, it also has to do with heart or heart chakra or getting clear about something. Um, Malachite brings deep changes. It brings far-reaching changes. Malachite energy, similar to like Moldavite, brings an energy of completion. Something is completely done or over. All right, then you've got Leo for shine. The Leo card here. Wow, I think if you were a wallflower or held back or you felt people didn't quite see you or understand you, that's changing. Yep, you're moving into your own inner authority. You've got 10th house here, so this has to do with career and destiny changes. So in your immediate future, you're changing your destiny. You're changing the trajectory, perhaps of how you do your soul's purpose or what you're focused on. These are big destiny issues, big moves, big changes, um, getting married, getting divorced, having children, children going off to school, moving across, you know, cross country, moving to another state, moving internationally, and we've got Mars. So I definitely feel something in your career is about to take off. And we've got Midheaven. So two messages I'm getting from the Akashic is this has to do with destiny and also career. So these destiny change, oh my God, look at you've got Jupiter. And right under Pluto. So the changes that happen are bringing more abundance, more prosperity, um, more money, more financially, but also more prosperity, eating better, being able to afford better things or nicer things, whatever that means to you. And you've got the sun, source energy is coming right under Leo. So the Leo energy, the Leonian energy of integrity, truth, and connecting to source. You're recognizing that you're the source of whatever it is in your life. You're the source of your blessings, you're the source <laughs> of your problems. You you know, again, this rehaul, you know, or overhaul that you've been going through is kind of showing you, well, I did this or I did that or I could have handled this better or I didn't know this or I learned this. So you're really taking a lot of accountability and stepping into your own power or empowerment. I'm getting a lot to do with power, power source and connecting to the I am, the God is, the source of all. Let's see what this is. Conscious living, yes. The healthy changes you've been making are showing. Now, whether these are physical changes, what you eat, what you focus on, what you ingest, whether environmentally or on social media or any kind of media, um, it's changing, whether it's what you're eating or the people that are around you. The other thing I feel a lot of you have to do something with health, holistic health, healing, um, you could be some type of practitioner, I don't know, if a doula, midwife, you know, nurse practitioner, doctor, naturopath, chiropractor. I'm getting a lot of health and wellness. And if otherwise you've been working, maybe you weren't as mobile. Okay, yeah, spirit wants you to share your gift. That's the message. Time for you to go to that next level. Roar like a lion. Move forward. Share. Get out there. Move upward and outward. This is not a time to um, shrink. <laughs> inner power. Look at this. Untapped inner power. This is all about creating the reality that best suits you. You are moving more into, um, I just heard the proclamation. What are you proclaiming? Are you naming it and claiming what you want? There's a proclamation. And I'm just drawn to this amazing stone here. It's a raw ruby. Okay, what is that about? Pluto is the change. It's about sharing your gifts and untapped power. Ruby brings prosperity. It's good for the blood. Connects you to your heart, which is also Leo, which is also Malachite. So if you've had heart issues, that's whether heartbreak, heartache, you know, achy, breaky heart. <laughs> if you've had uh, issues with heart lung, that's clearing up. But also, you are seeing yourself as that ruby. You're seeing your royalty. Um, some of you have a very special gift or talent that you're meant to be sharing with the world that's going to be bringing a lot of um, prosperity to you. Or you've trained or studied something that is going to improve your financial situation. Now, we have divine plan here. This is in the Akashic. This is in the divine plan 
for you to be doing to move into this next sphere to be doing what you're doing so I feel a lot of you may have held yourself back and now you're like you know what I'm going for it or you or you went to a particular level maybe some of you are going back into the workforce you know or the career or some of you could be even doing something philanthropic or humanitarian um, you're playing in a much bigger game. That's what's coming up in the next level for you. I almost want to say immediate future is a breakthrough onto a new level. Now, this could even be your subscribers or followers or YouTubers, or this could be clients or customers. Some of you, I feel, selling something online, or you might be opening another business. You could have a business online and in person. Honestly, what I really want to tell you is if you have that big idea and you don't know if it's going to work, you need to listen to your higher self and you need to go for it. Okay, so we're moving into that Six of Pentacles. I want to see where is the abundance coming from. There's abundance. That Three of Cups. Let's get the cards there. And two of Cups. It's working with people. It's collaborating. Some of you, it could be word of mouth. Okay, so there has been, but you've gone through it, because we've got the Nine of Swords here, the Moon, and the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been working with this for a long time. I think your hard work is paying off. That's what I'm getting. Some of you, it's also psychic work. Let's put that there. And then there's you've got the Star and the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, you're definitely moving into a time of increasing your earnings um, I feel like this is okay this transformation of whatever you're doing and whatever you're focused on is it's not a sprint it's a marathon and so there, there could have been some anxiety um, maybe even nervousness about what you're doing or is this going to work some of you may have been having trouble sleeping I do see that changing I see you getting a handle on that you know great supplements for that um, what is the neurotransmitter? Uh, melatonin, but theanine. Theanine is amazing. You can get a little capsule. And I'm not dispelling medical advice. I'm just telling you a suggestion or what I have used or other people, friends, family, clients have used. Um, but you need to have a wind down routine. Now, with all of this energy popping right now, you're going to have to have a wind down routine because your energy level is getting off the chart where you just want to do, you want to create, you want to share, you want to put your gifts out there, you want to make this happen, you want to launch this, it's, an, it's the new website, it's a book, it's a, it's a recording, it's this speaking engagement, it's this article, it's you know opening this business. Some of you are opening a new business, but it is going to thrive, and a lot of this is depending on you. The healing is healing and recouping your ability to thrive, so you're moving from just surviving or, you know, what is the saying? Robbing Peter to pay Paul and maybe Mary is in between. <laughs> you know, Mary's in between trying to save some money here. Um, you're moving from that conscious, not just consciousness. And I, it's not always lack consciousness because the soul is not about money. Spirit is, I hate when people say, oh, you have lack consciousness. That's why. No, not only certain learning lessons, but. The, the soul, you know, has its own way. You know, I once turned down a position of 250000 a year doing what I do, doing readings, helping, and I won't get into the whole story of it because I didn't like how the founder and CEO of the company treated his wife and his little kid because I saw it. You know, they did the whole whining, dining, and whatever you call it, you know, meetings and with me and flew me in and everything. Uh, because I, now, am I so, you know, magnanimous? Am I, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I, I didn't like that. I can't knowingly work for someone in that close proximity that I would have been working with because I know I would have ended up intervening and saying something. But honestly, also, I knew oh, that's going to be me one day. If he treats his kid like that and the wife, and in since they've divorced, and it was a big hullabaloo over the companies that they have. I knew I was going to be next. 
right now I was the golden child for a little bit. I was the shiny one, you know, um, but that wears off. So, you know, again, soul isn't always about money, but I do see you having the money or enough money to do what you want to do and to make some plans in the future by what you're getting. So it's important for you to kind of trust your intuition do what you can about any anxiety or sleeplessness so that you can connect into your inner guidance here, the higher self. We've got Taurus and also your intuition. Your intuition right now is really spot on. So make the time to tap into that. And those flashes of insight, those little ideas, those little changes that you're doing, whether scheduling change or focus change or prioritizing, are really helping you. You're becoming more conscious of what it is that you really need and what's supportive of you. So we have um, Taurus energy, we have Pisces, of course, and we have Aquarius energy um, and Cancer Pisces energy here with the moon. So there's a lot about trusting your intuition, your gut knowing, and then taking action. So there's going to be a lot more movement in your life. And people coming in to visit, I see people visiting, I see, you know, even FaceTime, Zoom calls, there could be more meetings, conferences. Um, there's just a lot more activating in your life that's putting you in motion where you just have to answer, answer. But you are getting to that pinnacle in your career, in your life. Um, there's some next level that you are getting to. Can you wrap this up? Because I have a client calling. Let's see what we got for you. Okay, take action, see? You're going to have to. A lot of this action I'm seeing, by the way, it, it's it's going to be because people are calling you, texting, okay, you got to do this, or we want to hire you for this, or what, you know. There's just a lot more with the work that's coming up. Okay, and then we've got Jira. Yeah, use your creativity. There's a lot of openings. Boom, 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 boom. Going to wrap this up, gingy. Lots of love. Whoa, let's see. Okay, so the introspection is over. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Uh, Jera or Kanaz, that's opening. That's that's also relationships. Relationships are going to be really good for you right now, very fruitful. You're meeting some higher uh, dimensional beings and literally on the spirit realm, spirit plane, and you know, in the earth plane. Okay, so you've got destiny, mystery. So you're on your path to destiny. Just know that this is not a sprint. This is, um, and a lot of you are moving. I've got Rado here. A lot of you are moving. There's a move. Movement, travel, you're putting money aside or you're traveling. Um, you're traveling for work. If you that, That's picking up. Some of you are traveling to decide to live in another place. And so there is a lot more. You're getting hopeful in the near future. Why? Because things are picking up. up. Not only money coming in, more money for sure, but opportunities where you didn't see that there were opportunities before. Yeah, so you're in the right direction. I love that. There's your message. You are in the right direction. So please don't give up hope. Your hard work is paying off. There's so much coming to you. Your, your life is about to get really luscious with that root malachite and the ruby there. Wow. You're getting, you're getting to a position that you're drawing in higher um, dimensional, higher frequency relationships. And that's personal, professional, collaborative, creative, business, whatever. Career. Okay, background check. Because some of you are getting a job. So follow up. The money is there. Yeah, you're in a time of growth. That's why it's abundance. Here's what I'm getting from spirit. It's not just the money, okay? So I'm looking for money. The money is there, the nine of pentacles. Put that money to good use. And the six of pentacles. So this is some of you up-leveling on what you're receiving for whatever you do in service, the service that you do. And it's growth in all areas of your life. It's not just money. It's resources. It's second house with that hierophant there. It's second house. Okay. What's coming up for soul story number three? Yes. North node in Aries. Pay attention to that Libra Aries access that um, 
that activation point of the um, lunar eclipse hitting that south node in Libra and the north node. So we have a solar eclipse coming up. Okay, and third house, move forward. North node in Aries, third house, sing it, say it, communicate it, put your ideas forward. This is the time to take action. This is the motivation that's coming. I, I feel like with you, it's not about you sitting down. I got to take action. People in situations are going to require that you take action. In other words, I got to answer this. I got to answer this call, this email, this text, phones ringing. This is happening. Look, it, just two times I had the phone ring during your reading. Things are activating. Okay, They're, you're in a cycle of rebirth, renewal. Um, the energy is transmuting to go to a higher level and also a faster level, okay? Things are going to be popping. Things are going to be happening. So if you've had any stagnation or things were delayed, that is clearing up. All right, your soul insights mantra is, through my soul gifts, I'm aligned to the abundance of the universe. Lots of love and light to you, and I'll see you in another reading. Hello, Radiant Soul. If you chose Soul Story number three, this is your reading. Wow, it's really great to connect with you. I'm looking forward to your reading. Um, wow, I feel a lot of, of energy about connection or connecting. You've got the lapis lazuli here. I'm seeing this as communication, but I also feel this is a lot about connection. It could even be community. It could be also getting to the truth of a situation, uh, looking at the higher principle, uh, integrity. There's a lot about your personal truth. Maybe withstanding something or standing up for something in the immediate future. Um, some of you could be going into some kind of negotiation is what I'm getting. And look, at you've got the moon with perception here. There could be something changing within your perception of what you feel that you need in the immediate future. Okay, we're gonna get the cards out. Yeah, perception is really big, how something looks, or you're changing your perception about something. I'm also getting something perhaps with home or home and family. Let's put this here. All right, let's put this out here. Okay, yeah, you're changing your mind, you're shifting. We got nurture, you're changing your mind about something or someone, beloved, okay. Got partnership, fifth house in Cancer, Cancerian energy, nurturing, working in the home, fifth house. I think in the immediate future, you're trying to work more from home or you're going to be doing a lot of work in the home. And then we have Libra. Wow, look at all this about relationship and relationship. So a lot to do with relationship, clearing the air, getting clarity. Also, this is a relationship with yourself. Something is improving. I feel like there's more focus on self-care in, in the immediate future. Nurturing oneself. You've got series here. Maybe changes in diet, nutrition. A particular outlook about something important in your life. On your everyday level, I feel like there's changes in your routine. Changes in your schedule. Or what? what is a nurturing routine for you? What is the right routine for you? There's some new perception that's coming in that has a lot to do with your body, your body wisdom, your inner knowing. You're getting some kind of feedback from your body and your intuition as what you need to spend more time on. Now, literally, some of you, I do see proper, you know, art, you know, very uh, overt or objective. You're, you're doing art. You're doing something artistic. You're taking time out to draw, to paint more. Um, some of you, it's jewelry making. Some of you are working with someone. Some of you also in the immediate future, you're going to be, um, I see, of short distance travel. Um, you're either having guests come over and visit you or stay with you, or you're going to be visiting. There's a re-evaluation about a particular relationship, or you're, in the immediate future, you're looking at relationship as being more important. lot to do in the home, beautifying the home, um, some of you could say, oh my God, I haven't had flowers in a long time. Or, oh my God, I haven't been in the yard for a long time. Maybe because weather is getting warmer. I'm, I'm seeing, oh, I haven't taken time out for this. I'm going to do that. Oh, I haven't done this in a long time. I'm going to do this. So there's something that you're reconnecting with in the immediate future that's very nurturing, not just to your soul 
and your spirit, but also your body. Some of you are going to be very active coming up here with a particular person. There's a lot of um, activity around the house, putting things in order, clearing up something. I, I don't know if it's um, could be clutter, could be could be or, or just organizing, putting something in a better. You're organizing something, get rid, getting rid of stuff. Um, I, I, I see drawers being organized. Um, now, why is this all happening? Because there's something about you beautifying your space. There's something about bringing more harmony in. Or, or some of you could be actually be getting new furniture. Um, there could be a move. This also brings a move is what I'm hearing. So if you're wanting to move... You're either going to move in the in the immediate future, or you found you're starting to look, or you're finding the place. Okay, balance is taking place here. Let me just tune in. In the immediate future, your focus is what is nurturing, nourishing for you, and also emotional connection. Didn't I say that something about connection with this lapis? So you could even be reconnecting with people that you haven't seen in a while or talk to in a while, or pastimes, leisure activities, hobbies. Um, you're, there's some, something, in it. if it isn't art, it's that you're, you're going through a more, I don't know if I'm not, no, that's contemplative, a creative. There's, there's more of a creative energy or creative pace a creative schedule, a creative flow to what you're doing. Okay, but definitely I'm getting a lot in the home. And Cancerian energy here. You're also going to be feeling better, better about your body, better about something that you're doing, better about your life, better about your career, better about your relationship, better about the decisions you're making. There's, there's kind of a soft... Um, confirming, affirming energy that's coming in for you. Wishing on a star. Yeah, some of you are in a purging process. You're cleaning something out. Is it your physical body? Are you doing a fast, a cleanse, eating differently? Or is this stuff that you're purging out? And then we move into inspired action. And this is telling me that you're coming into a very creative some of you might even say this is a fertile period, a fertile time period. You're going back to something that you used to do that you hadn't had time to do. But now you're going back to it. That's what I'm getting. Let's see what else. A lot to do with relationships, Belling. I think these eclipses are going to be greatly affecting you, or they already have been. Maybe since October of last year. There could be some things that you wanted to put into fruition of October of 20. 23 that now you can uh, focus on. Okay, I'm going to move these here. I forgot I have a different camera set up so I can, I can move over here in the center. Okay, let me connect back in. A lot of self care, nurturing, self love, appreciation for something. And I see all these flowers, so I do literally get something with flowers. Um, look at this, Four of Pentacles, taking a break, withdrawing a bit. Um, if your energy's been a bit low, some of you that are recouping from something are going to be recouping. Regeneration, recouping, not feeling well. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles more for soul story number three. Okay, ten of cups. Yeah, you're a little bit of a homebody coming up here. If you haven't been a homebody for a while, uh, if that's coming up or it's going to be a continuation of that or doing more, um, yeah, with relationship. Or maybe this is a new relationship. You're spending more time at home, more time on your own. That could be coming up here. Let's see here. Yeah, so we've got a lot with home and family work. A lot of you could be working on the home, remodeling, refinishing something, or working on projects in the home. Yeah, that's what's coming up in the immediate future. And you do have help 
you do have some kind of, uh, you know, help or assistance. King of Wands. Whether it's a project, job or something, Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do on the home. So some of you could be doing extra work or you work from home. This, this could be my entrepreneur group that I'm seeing. And there's a lot of projects. There's a lot to finish. You could be having meetings in the home, Zoom meetings, things like that. Um, I definitely feel that there's emotional fulfillment. It, it's almost like the work that you're doing, you're really enjoying. Whether it's on the computer or painting or drawing or writing something out, mapping something out. It is... It might be hard to get started and get in the groove, but once you do, you're feeling better about, about it. You're, you're in your groove. I feel like once you dive in, once you start this work, this project, whatever you're focused on, you kind of get in a groove with it, you know? And I'm also hearing you're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel. Look at wishing on a star. So whatever it is that you've been wanting to focus on, and I feel like it, it had to do with last year that you weren't able to, to focus on it or do it or complete it, you're going to be able to this year. And I would say even in the next few months, let's say between now and May, June, okay? So it, it is bringing some level of increase. It is bringing a level of, you again, you getting stuff done. And here this is wisdom. Anzu in the Ansus, another way to say it, in the uh, room cards. Okay, are you taking a test? No, you're you're kind of or again communication. Maybe you do a lot by phone or texting or Zoom. We've got Wunjo here, joy or happiness. There is some kind of level of joy, inner joy that's coming up for you in the immediate future. Now this could be about a special someone or a relationship is, is kind of getting gelled. You're getting you know in a groove with that. Um, meeting up for people for tea, coffee, I'm seeing that. Um, there's, there's some hobbies or pastimes or projects that you're working on that are gonna be giving you great enjoyment. I'm seeing with this uh, group a lot of enjoyment. It's, it's the little things, that's how I like to say it. What The message I'm getting for you is that there's gonna be if there hasn't been enjoyment in your relationships, that's turning around. And then we've got horse, moving on, trust, partnership, but this is also movement. So this is telling me, those of you that are working on projects, you're finally going to get them moving. You're going to get, get, you know, you're going to move through them. And then we've got Rado on the back, which I do believe there was another group that had Rado, Radio. So there is movement, but it's in a kind of a more contemplative way. You're going more for what it is that you kind of really nurtures your soul, feeds your soul. Um, immediate future, some of you are also having people over for dinner. There's a lot to do with friends and family is a big, you could be going away for the holidays, whatever holidays coming up. Um, maybe it's spring break, Passover, Easter, I don't know. I get a lot with family and friends around you. Uh, friends that are like family. Okay, let's see. Speaking of cooking, because I'm cooking something, I just got over and turned the stove off. <laughs> so I don't know, I see cooking and food here. There's a lot with cooking, food. Um, a lot more plans for outdoor activities and activities where you're meeting up with good friends or someone that's special to you. And I spend, I say this because it could be boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, significant other, or spouse. It could be that, or it could be just a good friend. I hear I'm coming into town. We're coming into town. A lot of you are taking someone out to dinner also. There's so a lot around this group with food is what I'm seeing. Nurturing. Looking at really nurtures you. Who nurtures you? Now, you're coming, you're still inward a bit. So either you have extra work or some kind of focus that you're doing at home, or you're, again, working on the home, or there's just a lot of projects that you're doing from home. Okay, those of you that are entrepreneurial, you're going to be working a lot. Um, some of you, it's your work as an artisan, as a creator, as a creative, you're, you know, a writer, you're making something or a handcraft. 
Um, some of you are bringing work from home because you've got a lot on your plate. Some of you work outside the home, but you also have projects or things that you're doing. So home, family, quiet, calm, joy, even though there's a lot to do, there's a lot to get done. Um, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, my God, did you guys see that pop out? Yeah, there it is. Look, what does it say? Work from home. Some of you are either working from home or you're trying to figure out what, how can I work from home or do the, what I do from home. I want to work remotely. I want to work more from home. Some of you, this is changes. You're going to be working more from home. And then we've got vacation. Someone's either going on vacation or someone's coming to you know, vacation with you or, or someone, oh, let's go here for the weekend, you know, or so-and-so's coming into town. I think a lot of you are going for a new, wow, look at this, creativity. That's what I thought. And with that butterfly, either a lot of you are working from home, you're entrepreneurial, or some of you are getting a new job. There's something that comes in, and, and it wanted to come out, and I didn't see it. It said something about job offer. Okay, we'll see if it comes out. But there's unexpected income. So if you do have that second job, it's from home, and you're making more money. A lot of you are going to be making the decision to work from home. You're finding the way to do more work from home, just like this card said, work from home, competition. Some of you are in a field that's very competitive. But immediate future, more work at home, working from home. Um, income is picking up by what you're doing work-wise. Some of you are doing projects. You're bringing work from home. Some of you are getting a job or you're realizing, I need to get a job that works from home. I don't want to go in the office anymore. Or I don't want to go in the office every day. I want to work from home and only have to come in on Fridays or Tuesday, Thursday, whatever. Something is going to be changing in your schedule. Um, and, and that change is going to bring you a lot of joy and emotional fulfillment. Because I see some people in like their slippers, getting their tea or their coffee, going outside on the balcony, looking out, you know, bringing their computer to work out. So, yeah, if you're not working from home, um, I do feel that it's something that would be very good for you. All right, soul story number three. Let's get your message to Astro Dice. And if it says home, I'll scream. Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> You've got Mars in Sagittarius in the third house. There's the communication. I feel someone's coming to visit you or you're getting an offer to go travel or visit someone long distance, okay? Some of you are working internationally or you're going to be working internationally or have a company internationally. So there's a lot of Zoom meetings. I get this is my remote I get a lot of remote my remote viewing and remote working crew, okay? So some of you are up for that job, and I say that you're going to get the job, or there's extra income in working remotely. All right, your Soul Insights mantra to support you on this part of your path is... Hmm. Oh, Wow. Okay, some of you are changing work. I'm attracting work that I enjoy and that brings me the prosperity that I want. Yeah, so some of you are making a job change. Did it say that there? Vacation, changes, work from home, and unexpected income. I think you're going to be bumping your income, but the, the, uh, the job is from home. All right, so light, shine bright. Till next time. Hello, Radiant Soul. If you chose soul story number four, this is your reading. Or well, if that was one of your soul stories that you chose, this is your reading. Okay, let me get settled in. I'm getting a lot of movement with you. Okay, you've got turquoise. What's happening with you with turquoise? A lot about grounding, stamina, health care, taking care of the body. That seems to be kind of reoccurring, but there, there is some kind of grounding. There's something that you're going to be doing that's very grounding. I feel with you there in the immediate future, there's some kind of um, treatment or f exercise or pastime that's very healing or nurturing. Maybe you do do healing. You've got solar calm here. Yeah, do you meditate? Are you doing energy work or Reiki? 
or you're receiving that, you've got the 16 here. There's something you're going to be doing that's very nurturing or I'm connecting into my healers. Maybe you work in healing or energy work, Reiki or body work or massage. I don't know, reflexology. Or you're thinking about that. Some of you could be studying that. A lot to do with earth, earth-based um, goddess, earth, earth-based religion, um, taking care of the earth, environmental, eco. You've got Taurus here. Solar calm. Okay, let's look and see this. Third house, communication. I hope you can see that. Ninth house, exploration. Just saw a dune buggy. Uranus for change and the north node. Oh, and what else? The 11th house, community. Now I am hearing community gardens. Let's see what is coming up for you. Okay, the ninth house, now this is interesting. I think you're the only one that got, you got three houses, third house, ninth house, 11th house, and some kind of change. So I'm gonna say in the immediate future, some areas that are starting to act, get activated for you or getting highlighted would be your neighborhood. And this is why I'm saying some of you are either gardening at your house, doing some kind of outdoor work. Um, you could be going to the farmer's market a lot. You could have a community garden or garden in your house. There's something with neighborhood, neighborhood watch, something about focusing on the neighborhood or changes in the neighborhood. There's something going on in your neighborhood, around your house. And you've got ninth house exploration. You could be moving. You could be doing a looking at a long distance move to a place that is a little bit different than where, or a lot different than where you are now. This this could come anywhere from three to six to nine months, maybe a year. I see three, nine, 11, but I also hear, what are we, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, because I heard like September, October. Maybe that's the ninth month. Um, a new community. So you could be doing something active with the community. You know, a very interesting group here. I, I, I'm getting a lot with environment, ecology, uh, maybe doing work around the yard or work around the neighborhood or getting together with neighborhood. Maybe there's a neighborhood gathering also. Um, but you're looking at your neighborhood or where you live, how you live to see, is this something that I, that I want? Do I want to be around here anymore? You're setting your sight. Some of you are starting to literally explore by travel. You could be traveling to a new, you know, new area, checking things out. Um, I do feel some of you that work in health or wellness, even physical fitness, you could be doing some retreats, you could be doing more courses or classes um, online, but also in person. This is telling me somebody's looking for a location or you're starting a business or a company or renting out a space to do your business is what I'm hearing because you're trying to reach a, a new community, a new group. Now, why is this happening? Because you've been getting some kind of clarity as to some changes that need to, need to be made in your life or where and, and also where and how you work. There's something that is shifting in your environment that you're either wanting a different environment or the environment's not working. I literally see someone looking for a location. This could be a location for a business and or a house. Some of you are looking for a place that is near water or where you can boat or have the boat. I see also in the immediate future, some of you are literally going to be boating, maybe sailing, could be sailing. It's time. The hands of fate are moving. So there's some kind of change that you're getting. It's not a frenetic decision, okay? It's a decision that brings kind of this clarity and this kind of calm I see some people writing things out, or we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to budget, we need this much money for this. So a lot of you are in the immediate future are planning your future. You're looking, you know that there's gonna be some changes. 
whether it's graduating, whether it's going back to school, whether it's retiring, whether it's moving from working with a company to or a corporation to consulting, or if you're going back in the workforce or you're getting a different type of job, there's something that is changing that begins to also change uh, the trajectory of your life and how you live. Some of you could be choosing to work more online or you're doing more, you know, Insta, I don't know about YouTube, maybe. But there could be something more with social media or using that to reach more people or a different community or create an online community. And you, some of you are going to be doing some surveys uh, coming up here or answering some surveys or or creating some kind of s surveys. Uh, I don't know what that's for, a questionnaire or something like that. i got to look on the bot. Yeah, true love. The potential for true love. Now, what is that about? And you got heart opening, shining star, and expansion. Now, that is interesting. This reading... Is very interesting. I just got to tell you. I just heard I can do anything with you by my side. So is somebody helping or supporting you? I think you're finding work that you love or the way to do work, to do the work that you need to do or have to do or want to do in a better way. I think something's changing Probably in the next, a little bit, two to three weeks, it's, it's during this retrograde, but the bigger changes I'm seeing in the next couple months. You may change schools, I'm hearing for some of you. you. There's some kind of change that gets you in a new direction. Now, this could be your, um, you know, what you decide to study, you know, minor, major. Um, you could be changing your plans is what I'm hearing. There's a change of plans. Okay, let's see. Uh, because you kind of finally are you're believing in yourself. You're worthy. It's time to stop feeling unloved or unworthy. Yeah, this is the big ability to do the work that you like and moving, let go of the past so you can create the future. I think that's what's happening for you. I think you're starting to create the future. There's a lot of focus here on future and future plans. It's making me wonder if some of this change is either doing due to the um, North and South Node access, the North Node uh, in the sky collectively. For the collective, the North Node right now, right, is in Aries, South Node in Libra, where and how that's affecting you, if you maybe if you look at your chart. Um, or is it these eclipses, right? Lunar and solar eclipse. Um, and you have solar calm. So I feel like you're getting some kind of answer to your question or answer to your uncertainty that brings certainty of the direction. So a lot of you are going to be getting some kind of certainty uh, in the direction that you're going in. And then you're going to be able to put plans. Look at this. The, the bottom of the de deck. Eight of Wands. Why? Because it's the judgment. It's a soul call. It's meant to be. The timing is right for the movement to move forward, okay? To make the changes. We've got Ace of Swords for ideas, directions, Queen of Wands. Somebody's helping you. This could be parts of you. And then I'm seeing the Fool and Six of Cups. Let's keep it at that. So what I'm getting from this is some new idea or direction that's coming in that brings a lot of clarity. If this is about a bigger move, you are going to do the move. You're changing something in the way that you live. There's something over the change. There's a completion here. You've got change here with Uranus and North Node, the future. You're looking to the future. This could have been a dream or goal of the past or what you couldn't do. In other words, okay, now we have the money to do this or now we know so-and-so can help us or I have an in there or now is the time to do this. Let's let's go, you know, now. We, you know, I've, I've graduated or you've graduated or now we have that degree or we have this, we can work anywhere or let's go, the kids are at this age, let's go. So there is, for some of you, this change brings a, a move. You're in the planning phase. 
but you see the the way out you see the way through you've got uranus energy here with the full uranus there yeah and you're speaking your truth some of you that are partnered you're going to be having a conversation about look this is we need to look at this you know we need to talk about this or i want to i want to leave my job and i want to work for myself you know or i want us to do that business we've always wanted to do let's start it at night or let's start it on the weekends so whatever your plans are or your idea your your idea your dream your goal your vision it's time to put the plan in place and start taking the steps a lot of you are looking bigger picture um, I'm also getting with this group, there's a lot with spiritual-based business. You know, a lot about the soul or spirit. Well, spiritual-based business is what I heard. Um, making a change in your career. Now, this is planned for change. I'm, I'm going to look and see. I, I'm At this moment, I'm not seeing any, you know, I see more getting a job or getting a new job. I'm not necessarily, I think that the job is, if you leave it, it's going to be on your terms because some of you may not want to sign the contract. And just as I said that, we've got Kenaz, creativity and knowledge. Could be that you're creating, you're starting to put something together to create your own, look at this, destruction, cross, Uranus energy. Hagalas, that's Uranus. Well, at the time of this reading, whatever happens to get you in a new direction, it gets you a new opening. And this is about expansion. So any changes, any kind of mishaps, any changes, it's to get you in a new direction that is better for you, whether that's prosperity or gets you, maybe you get, um, what's the word, transferred to a better location or you're you know you can work from home or you're transferred to a, a place that's better whether location or better office um, but there is change coming there is change coming for you that's going to bring some kind of growth or expansion in your life there's going to be some kind of breakthrough and I feel like you've been working on something that now you're getting this creative solution you're, there's some problem about how to move forward, that you're getting the clarity to solve the problem, to create that, um, cre you know, creative solution. You're finding the solution to whatever the problem is. Um, but part of it's, it's a timing issue. I think you had to not only think about it a lot, kind of mull it over, maybe you handed it to your higher self, handed it to God, maybe you talked to some people, maybe you just said, oh, we'll see what happens, and boom, it's like, you connect into the higher mind to get the answer um, to your problem or to the issue, whatever you're trying to solve here, issue, problem, concern. Um, some of it, it, it is also about the, yeah, look at that toxic work environment. I think some of you are leaving your work. You don't want to do this anymore. You're like, I don't want to do this for the next six, seven, eight months or year. Yeah, entry level. So there is a new position. Some of you are either graduating or you just... Um, graduated or you went to school for something you're seeing the big picture oh I can do this in six months or we can change this in three months or in a year from now it's going to be different okay I've got if you hear my voice sounding weird it's because I'm bending over look at this entrepreneur you're going in a new direction a lot of you want to work on your own or work for yourself and there's deadlines so I think some of you are starting to work on your own you're bringing maybe work home, and there's a lot of deadlines. There's a lot that you have to do, or it's going to pick up. If things have been slow, uh, things are going to be picking up. But um, a good portion of you, because this reading is very mixed, and it's so funny because as I was tuning in with you, I kept getting crypto. I kept getting Bitcoin, and look what popped out, cryptocurrency. So this may have some relevance to you as to, I look at crypto not always as buying crypto. I mean, you could, Bitcoin or any digital currency, um, but also like savings, understanding what to do with your money, what else to do with your money. All right, this 
this soul story here ha has a lot of little pieces moving because I feel like I'm reaching a, a lot more people in this reading. So it'll be interesting to see if a lot of people pick this up. But it does show, Spirit is saying, the problem is solved. You get the solution. You know what to do. If you're Those of you that are wanting to leave a job um, or a particular, it, for some of you, it's not just a job. It's a particular career that's been too stressful or you don't like the dynamics. You are going to be able to leave. And some of you, you're leaving because you want to work um, you want to do different work or you want to work on your own or you want to establish something on your own. Let's see what card we got here. Unexpected income. I like that one. Let's put that here. And I'm going to see what fell on the floor. It's a mystery. Negotiation. Yeah, that's what I thought. New yeah. Some of you, there's a new position. Or you're selling your, you know, your services. Maybe you're consulting. So a lot to do with new directions, with uh, work that's coming in, creative work, uh, meeting those those deadlines, you know, following through in those opportunities, um, getting out of that position or that job that's no longer working for you that you you're really feeling is, you know, pretty. Some of you, it's toxic, but some of you, it's also just that you feel hemmed in. You feel you're not able to grow. You feel like you're like, you've outgrown this job already. You've outgrown this position. Some of you, you're just like, I'm over this. I'm over what I do. I need to make changes. So I do feel that you're going to really be focusing on this and you're going to see the, I mean, just hearing to tell you, you're going to see the way out. Okay. Let's get some more information, insight from Spirit through the Astro Dice for Soul Story. Number four, immediate future. Changes in the immediate future. Look at that. Saturn and Libra. Oh, hoo, hoo, that's the communication. Okay, I've got a message that I have to give to someone or a few of you. Fourth house. Someone you live with. Saturn and Libra. Let's go back. Okay, we've got this. Some of you are looking at, okay, this is the bare bones. This is the reality of the situation. Some of you either you lost a job or your partner lost a job or they want to leave. Is it you that wants to leave where you work or, or your partner and you want to work from home and you're trying to figure out how do we do this? What's the opening? What are you going to do? How do we start this? Some of you want to work more entrepreneurially. I do feel a lot of you are partnered, so you have to, you know, maybe your partner has been closed to this, but let me tell you, in the, you know, in the immediate future, <laughs> I'm going to say next six to eight weeks, you're going to be putting a plan together. You know, whether it's retiring or, hey, we're, 